the background of Old APA, the, the core values have always been the same. Um, it was started on the base of providing small businesses with the ability to compete with large organizations. You cannot replace the human voice. Great websites, great marketing collateral. These are all precursors to getting someone to contact you. We do one thing, we do it very, very well. We answer your phones. We are the first impression for your business. Being a PA means representing the company in question as one of their staff members. So obviously it's important to me that I convey the same standard, you know, the standard that that company actually want me to. We have to put ourselves in that we work for that company. We work for that company, so how are we going to help that customer? The difference with Old APA boils down to three simple core values. The first is our human assets, our staff, the training that goes into our staff is second to none in the UK. The amount of time that we spend in giving the staff the full um, training, um, I think, cannot be competed by anybody in the UK. We cannot think about anything other than making each call perfect, and that's all we focus on in training. Each call is perfect. The second core value that we have is the expertise. Collectively, we probably have a few hundred years worth of expertise knowledge of answering phone calls. So the expertise that we bring um, for a client um, is like employing somebody that's been in the industry for a couple of hundred years. A lot of our staff have been with Old APA since the very start in 99, many, many years. So many people started as PAs. The recruitment process actually gives us some amazing candidates. You know, there's a certain type of person that can do what we do. We all have a certain characteristic here. We can't quite put our finger what it is, but we all have it. We've got many different personalities. Every single PA is different. Every single PA is attentive, switched on at the end of the day um, the, with different personalities. But because we're all different, this is, what, this is why we provide a great service. We run from four operation centres, um, three in Manchester with an office in London, and our three operation centres in Manchester, there is no single point of failure. So from signing up on a package that may be nothing more than a few pound a day, three, four pound a day could give a small business 14 to 15 million pounds worth of technology at their fingertips and a team of 220 staff. It's not robotic, we are real human beings handling the call. You know, automated phone systems cannot do this. To our customers, I think all day PA has become um, an extension of their businesses. And when you think that uh, we're asking a lot of a business to say, let us take calls on your behalf, there's a lot of trust that there takes place. And that trust is only gained from our um, years of continually giving excellent service. So no matter how good a business you have, if you're in a meeting, your phone's switched off. Your business is closed for business. And that's the what we do. I would describe Ord APA as almost in loco parentis. We, we are essentially that client's staff member. We are representing their company. We're not just a call handling service. We represent that company. I am employed by them for the three minutes I'm taking the call. Is how I view my place with the member. We do create an illusion that we work for that company, so we have to have the answer to any question that a customer will ask. We are only as good as the last call. We have no long-term contracts. We don't ask clients to port their numbers over to us. You just divert the calls to us. And if you feel that something's not right, you can switch off the divert. And that is probably the single most important thing about our service that has kept our clients for so many years. And the one piece of advice I'd give anybody, wherever they go to get their calls answered, don't look at the management of the company first off. Don't look at the brochures. Don't look at the collateral. Look at the people taking the phone calls.